Hello, I'm Sarah from MaisonCupcake.com and today I'm going to show you how I prepare and serve our Bernard Matthews Christmas turkey. I've cooked our family Christmas dinner every year for 15 years. It's usually for four people but we like to cook big and have lots of leftovers for the next couple of days when all our relatives are visiting. Once defrosted, your Bernard Matthews turkey is ready to roast as it is, but I'm going to show you how I like to do mine for Christmas. To prepare our turkey, we've defrosted it in good time, taken it out of the fridge first thing on Christmas morning. I set the giblets aside and put two onions and an unwaxed lemon inside the cavity. On the top, I crisscross slices of back bacon. The Bernard Matthews turkey is self-basting, which means you can leave it to cook on its own and you don't have to fiddle about getting it out to baste. Pop steamed up. Strain these lovely juices off and keep them to one side to make a gravy and then put the turkey back in the oven for 10 to 20 minutes to crisp up the surface. Let's get it back. Nice. Oh. Oh. Hold that steady. With the turkey covered in foil, while the oven's still nice and hot, you can now roast your potatoes. I have my all-time favourite trimmings that I do nearly the same way every year. These would be crispy roast potatoes, sprouts with chestnuts and bacon, parsnips with uh, date and maple. I do my um, chipolatas rolled up with prunes and bacon. I do my own stuffing with sage and onion and I put it in balls rather than inside the cavity of the turkey. And of course, gravy, cranberry sauce, and what I'm gonna show you how to make next, bread sauce. Now I'm gonna show you how I make bread sauce. First thing you're going to need is an onion and some whole ground cloves. Now you see this onion, I've got whole cloves that's been pushed in in rows. It's a bit tricky. Do that all the way round. Okay, you take your studded onion and you just pop it into a small pan of milk and let that simmer while we get on with some other jobs. Now to blitz around half a loaf of bread in the blender. I use lots because I'm going to make stuffing as well as the bread sauce. So when the milk has had a nice simmer, use a slotted spoon to get the onion out. Let's add a um, sprinkle of nutmeg to the milk and then we add our breadcrumbs and let these soak in. Add the breadcrumbs until you have the consistency of thick porridge. And finally, if you want, you can stir in a knob of butter and let that melt. Turn off the heat and leave on one side until you're ready to serve. This is where I hand over to my husband who uh, likes to do his stint on caveman duty. Now it's cooked, the Bernard Matthews turkey smells great and it carves really well and it's the perfect match for my bread sauce. There's a good mix of white and brown meat. My husband always likes to have one of the legs. And everything has now come together. We've got all of our trimmings ready. I'm going to spoon some of the bread sauce on top of the turkey. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and enjoy your lovely turkey.